So when modems kind of came out or AOL became a thing, we got AOL at some point, and it was really fun to hear, you know, you've got mail, and that's when it was still novel. And I would be chatting with some friends in various chat rooms, and I'd be telling them secret Intel, you know, confidential roadmap features that my dad had told me because, you know, whatever, it's just some friends online. But it turned out that this chat room was actually Usenet, and my dad's uh, coworkers and my dad's boss were also in this Usenet group. So, sorry, Dad. <laughs> so I kept uh, sh kind of showing off on AOL, and I was like flooding chat rooms with VB scripts that were sending like Win32 key events to the window, and uh, I flooded some form to request an AOL CD and got like thousands of AOL CDs delivered in the mail by doing different permutations of my home address. So I got kicked off AOL. Um, <laughs> Um, but that was good because we found a local ISP Heavenet, and this uh, local ISP came with a shell prompt, and I like typing things into boxes. Um, so I started typing things into the box, and the things I knew to type into boxes didn't work, so I had to learn some new things to type. Um, the other great thing about Heavenet is I had this directory, and if I put files in it, I got a website. So I had to learn some HTML to make my really terrible website. But generating all the pages by hand was tedious, so I started using Perl to auto-generate all my pages on the site. And at this point, you could probably ask why I picked Perl and something else, but this was like 1995, and there wasn't really any other options. Ruby at the time was like 0 0.095 or something, and it was only in Japanese. And the only Japanese I know is how to leave a building. It's not quite enough to um, program. So don't bash other technologies, just, I mean, Consider that the other language or technology maybe was just the only option at the time, or maybe it was like a considered engineering trade-off and somebody had different values than you did about what they thought was right. I certainly bash things all the time. But anyway, so I'm using Perl. I'm like on the forums all the time reading. And there's chatter in the forums about this book, Camel 2, that was coming out. And so one winter, I'm skiing with my family. And me and my dad are like taking the skis off the top of the car. And I'm saying to my dad, hey, you know, the Camel 2 book is out now. We should go pick it up afterwards. And just as I'm doing that, um, this guy walks by me in the parking lot and said, did you say Camel 2? As in programming Perl 2nd edition? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, hey, I'm Randall Schwartz. 